Hi, I'm Jeff Schwartz of Schwartz Performance, and what I've got out today is my 2015 Z06 Corvette. It's a well-known fact that these Z06 Corvettes, when driven aggressively on the racetrack, overheat in real short order. So uh, I experienced the same thing on uh, warmer days. On a 50-degree day at Road America, everything worked perfectly, but anything, uh, you know, 70 degrees and warmer, I uh, overheat and goes into limp mode after about I don't know, two minutes maybe. So what we've got here is uh, modifications that we did. Um, I contacted uh, LG Motorsports in uh, Texas and they have a package uh, that they sell to make these things cool down. Uh, there's also G-Speed in Texas that has a similar package. Uh, main reason I went with this one is it looks very OE. It's got a carbon fiber uh, edging around the holes that you need to cut in the bumper for the side mounted heat exchangers. And uh, there's a, a few problems that I found after doing a little backyard engineering here. Number one, the heat exchanger for the intercooler system was mounted right in front of the radiator and nearly completely blocking the airflow to the radiator. The air temp coming off of that uh, under hard usage was 220 degrees, so the air was getting hot even before it reached the radiator. Uh, also, the uh, uh, cooling system didn't have a very large capacity, so I now have a DeWitt's radiator in there. It's their third design, a much larger one that requires cutting the fan shroud to put it in there. So that now holds over a gallon more coolant in the cooling system uh, for the uh, engine. And then the intercooler system has been completely revamped with a three gallon reservoir from uh, B3R and then the uh, LG Motorsports uh, side mounted coolers here. So uh, we haven't done any track testing yet, but uh, that'll be coming in short order. Uh, originally, there was a heat exchanger brick on the side of the uh, engine that had uh, coolant and oil flowing through it to cool down the oil. However, it was mounted right next to the catalytic converter with no heat shield, uh, maybe a quarter inch gap at most. And uh, that catalytic converter gets, you know, well in excess of a thousand degrees, you know, even at moderate driving. So essentially that was heating up the oil and uh, the coolant. So we've eliminated that and we have an uh, air to oil mounted cooler under the car. Uh, right now my oil temperatures are more than 30 degrees cooler than the coolant temperature. So that's a, a big improvement there. And then uh, we're hopeful that the extra cooling uh, reservoir uh, for the uh, intercooler system will help out. Originally there was a plastic reservoir mounted down low next to the radiator that had uh, uh, maybe a quart of coolant. Uh, to cool the uh, supercharger system, basically, the intercooler, the uh, water to air intercooler system. So that reservoir being mounted low, the pump was mounted adjacent to it, so it, it could cavitate. It was difficult to get the air out of the system. So by having a several gallon reservoir up high, it's now gravity feeding the pump. There's no air anywhere in the system, and it's got you know a couple of gallons more capacity. I've also replumbed it where the water from the uh, coolers, the side mounted coolers, go directly to the intercooler brick. Uh, so that's the coolest water going there. And then it returns to the reservoir and then gravity feeds to the pump. The OEM system would pump the, res uh, the coolant uh, essentially sideways. And whenever you pump things, you're compressing it and heating it. And then it would compress it and heat it and then go to the intercooler brick. So it was essentially the hottest coolant going to the to the, to the brick, and then I guess it would be a little hotter once it went through the brick, but anyway, um, we've changed that around so the coolest water is going there. They also upgraded the blower top on the 2017s, maybe it was 16, I guess it was 17, they put the taller blower top, which uh, compresses the, I guess uh, it's less compression on the air going into the, uh, into the intercooler, so there's more uh, room for the air to make a, a curve and change directions to go down through the intercooler brick and into the blower. Um, incidentally, I did this mod on my CTSV Cadillac. I cut the blower top off and essentially did the same thing about four years ago. So um, I'm not sure if GM is watching or they just finally figured it out. But anyway, um, we're hopeful that we'll have a, a good cooling uh, situation now and I, I can't wait to try it out on the racetrack. <laughs> Upgrades by Schwartz Performance. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Yeah, by the way, I, I, if you need this done, contact G-Speed in Texas or LG Motorsports in Texas because uh, 
I really don't want to do this stuff. 